हेलो फ्रेंड्स ड्यूरिंग आवर स्कूल टाइम इट हैपन्ड अ लॉट ऑफ मेनी टाइम्स लाइक वी वी आर गेटिंग द सेम रैंक एज सम ऑफ आवर क्लासमेट्स बट वाई वुड दिस हैपन हैपन बिकॉज ऑल दोज पीपल ऑल दोज क्लासमेट्स दे वर हैविंग द सेम नंबर ऑफ मार्क्स एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ऑल वेर प्रोवाइडेड द सेम रैंक बट वॉट वुड बी द रैंक ऑफ द स्टूडेंट हु हैज स्कोर्ड जस्ट लेस देन द मार्क्स स्कोर्ड बाय ऑल दोज पीपल और द नेक्स्ट स्टूडेंट so what would be the rank of that particular student so his rank or her rank would be completely different it would be the number which is somewhat next to next number so we'll be learning this particular concept or the ranking concept into sql so there are three different functions into the rank function rank dense rank and row number so we'll be studying all these three functions into much more detail with the help of sql query with the help of different data sets into the video it let us move into this particular example into much more detail so that we can understand this particular concept into much more better way so for example there was a test which was of 500 marks the student which has scored the highest mask was 498 the second highest marks was 495 and that was scored by two students the next highest marks or the third highest marks was 494 so what would be the ranking so the student who has scored the 498 marks would be ranked as one the student who has scored the second highest 495 marks would be ranked as two now here two students have got the same marks so both of them would be provided rank as two and the next student just the next student who has scored the marks as 494 he will not be provided the rank as 3 he will be provided the rank as 4 because the rank 3 has been filled from before because two students have preoccupied and that had accommodated for the rank 3 this is called as the rank function and this is how the rank function works what if three students have had scored 495 marks so what would be the rank of the student who has scored the 494 marks so his rank would be 5 because three students have come on to the rank as 2 so 3 and 4 would be vanished and 5 would be the next rank which will be provided into the class so friends let us understand this into much more detail with the help of a simple data set you can see on to my screen i have a data set ready with me and here first of all we'll be seeing on to the excel and then we'll be seeing the sql query for this why excel because we'll be knowing this or understanding this into a much more better way so friends into this data set you can see i have into the column a i have the id into the column b i have the date and into the column c i have the sales and also i have imported the same data set into my SQL Server here Management Studio, and if you want to know how do we import our Excel sheet into the SQL Server Management Studio, you can watch this particular video which is popping out right now onto your screen. And also, you can see this particular data set. I have a two data set to make you understand this particular rank concept into much more detail. And also, I have imported the same data set to SQL Server Management Studio as well. but let us see this particular concept into much more detail here so as i have told like there are three different ranking concepts in sql so we'll be learning this so i'm just making three columns and we'll be numbering them or providing ranking to them and we'll be understanding the difference between all these three kind of functions which are present into sql ranking functions which are present here so how would rank function work a rank function would work into a similar way the example which i have given a bit earlier so the next number would not come up if the number of students which were coming is more than one so the next number which to come up it won't come up and next to next numbers would come up so similarly rank function would work so first of all let's see which is the highest number which is present into this particular column so you can see the highest number is 740 so this would be provided as rank 1 in case of rank function the next highest number is you can see here it is 679 so it will be provided as rank 2 so let us paste uh, this particular value somewhere and and sort this from smallest to largest 740 is provided the rank 1 so the highest number sales 
row i'll be providing them as rank 1 and it would be distributed into a descending order next uh, highest would be provided as rank 2 so the next next highest is 604 so this will be provided as rank 3 here and you can see 603 is coming two times so both of these will be provided the rank as 4 and 4 and from the concept which we have learnt here 5 would not come up directly the rank 6 would come up for 540 here so i'll just mention here 6 478 is coming three times here you can see so all these 478 wherever it is coming it will be provided rank as 7 so i'll just provide this them rank as well 478 and one more here and so 8 and 9 has been managed so the next number which would come up will be as 10 so this is the final ranking which we have provided here and this is how the rank function work what is the difference between the rank and the dense rank function we'll be seeing here so similarly what if i do the same thing here for dense rank and how is the ranking is calculated from the dense rank function so the highest number or the row number will be provided the rank as 1 the next highest will be provided as rank as 2 the third highest will be provided as rank as 3 but when we come to the fourth highest 4 is coming two times here you can see okay then 4 will also be provided here for both of them and the next one which is present here is 540 so what will be the number or the rank which will be provided to 540 will it be 6 it will not be 6 it will be 5 and this is how the dense rank function works so it will not escape the next integer value or the number which is coming up does not take into account whether that particular value is coming three times four times or five times or n number of times it would provide still provide the next value the next rank value itself so here for example you can see into the rank function five i've just escaped but into the dense rank function five would come up Similarly, the next number which is coming is 478 and it is coming three times. So all three of them will be provided as rank as six. So I'll just provide that here as well. And finally, the last one will be provided as rank as seven because we don't escape the values, the next values which occur into the dense rank function. So friends, this is how the dense rank function works. Coming to the row number function, this is very much simple. So you can see in row number, it does not matter if that particular value is coming n number of times, five times, six times, it will, it will not provide the same value or the same rank value to all those repetitive values. It would just provide the number as into a sequence, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let us see how is the ranking being provided into the row number function here by the row number function into the SQL. So 740 will be provided the rank as one, Next is 679, it will be provided the rank as 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6, 7, 8. So the row which is coming, the very first instance, it will be provided a lower ranking value, 8 and at the last we have 9 and 10 so this is how the dense rank rank and the row number function works let us see the sql query we'll be presenting three columns here first for rank second for dense rank and third is for row number so what is the syntax for rank function so rank i'll just write and over so here we need to tell our code like into the example which I mentioned earlier the classmates they were provided the rank onto the basis of the marks. So here we need to tell our code like onto which column do you need to provide the rank. So here we need to order by use the order by clause and order by onto the basis of what order by onto the basis of sales column. Here we need to provide the rank as one to the highest number of sales column or the row. So we need to arrange our data set first of all into the descending order onto the basis of the sales column. So for that I'll just mention here descending and that's all is required and this is the rank column. 
similarly let us write the syntax for the dense rank so instead of rank it will be dense rank and the rest of the things they remain the same and similarly let us write for the row number function as well so it will be row number and that's all is required here i'll just rename the columns dense rank and a row number that's all let us execute our query so you can see we have got our value here for each of the columns as well so the very first column is the rank function dense rank function and the row number function so friends this is how the the rank function is utilized the difference between the rank function and the dense rank and the row number function which we have seen here let us move one more step ahead of this let us learn some more concepts into this what more complex can be the data set from here so i have again a data set ready here with me you can see into this particular data set i have into the column a i have the id into the column b i have the department name into the column c i have the salaries assume this id to be the employee id like employee id as one is into the sales department and the salary is 1000 rupees employee number as two is having the department as it and the salary is 1500 and similarly for all the other as well so what do i want so i want to get within each department i want to rank the employees onto the basis of the salary so the employee which is getting the highest salary i'll be ranking them as one and likewise for all the other employees but this would happen within the department meaning the partition by concept what is this partition by concept so partition by concept i have taken this particular concept into my previous videos as well so you can check out my previous videos for learning more concepts but we will we'll be learning the partition by concept here also if we need to rank our employees id column onto the basis of the salary and also onto the basis of the department column so for each department we want to rank our column separately so we need to partition our data set so on to what basis we'll be telling our code to partition our data set so we'll be telling our code to partition our data set onto the basis of the department column so first of all you can see the entire data set here so i'll just do one thing i'll just sort this yes and then how does the code internally it will work so first of all we'll need to partition our data set here so for so for each of the department unique departments which are mentioned here the data set would be partitioned and onto the basis of the department and after the data set has been partitioned the very first step is this and after the data set has been partitioned it would be providing the ranking so employee id as 6 will be provided the ranking as 1 because the salary is highest and similarly the employee id as 7 will be provided the ranking as 2 let us do the same for the department it so he'll be providing the rank as one and he'll be providing the rank as two let us see the sql query or how do we write do the same thing into sql so i have imported the same data set here so the data set i've named as rank p i'll just remove this you can see the data set which is present here now let us provide a rank column and i'll be providing the ranking to all these employees onto the basis of their salary but i'll be partitioning them onto the basis of the department column first of all so i'll be providing the rank function over i'll write so this is also a window function kind of thing so first of all we need to partition our data set the very first instance so we'll need to partition our data set onto the basis of the department column after we have partitioned our data set i need to order our data set so as we have seen into the example earlier we were providing the ranking onto the basis of the marks column so here also we need to order our data set onto the basis of the salary column so i'll just provide the salary column here and salary column also we need to order that into the basis of the descending order so the employee which is having the highest salary will be provided a rank as one and similarly for all the other employees as well so that's all is required i'll just rename this column as employee rank i'll just 
execute the code so you can see within each of the department which I have mentioned here the ranking has been provided for all the employees so friends this is how the partition by function is used in addition to the rank function i will request you to practice a lot into much more different data sets as well into different websites onto this rank function so that it can clear all your concepts because this is a very common question which is asked into the interviews so friends i hope you had found this video very much useful so do like this video if you had found this video helpful and also subscribe to my channel to receive such kind of useful information if you have it. So meet you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.